We started off with can a shy photographer be successful? Then we kind of ventured into what we need to do to overcome the shyness and that introvert and introverted tendencies. Now, we're talking a little bit about why I have learned that awkward always wins. And so if you are awkward, fantastic, I can speak to you. If you find yourself like cool as a cucumber in any social situations, then probably just start doodling, write some notes, send me a little letter. Um, now, I was reminded of this fact when I had the opportunity to go on a hike with JD and my really great friend from college. We were in Oahu and we went on a hike and we came down from the hills and we stopped off at a cafe. And while we were waiting for our drinks, she and I were just recounting some of the ridiculous things that we did in college. Uh, like this one time we lip sync in front of our entire campus to like a Beyonce like mashup. And we thought we were like, oh my God, we're so cool. Like in this moment, like Beyonce would be proud. Um, we also like camped out for like Justin Timberlake tickets because again, we were like epically cool. And every story that we kept on telling JD, and maybe because JD and I went to different colleges, and maybe like for the sake of my sanity, I didn't share those stories with him. Like we were dating at the time, but he was like, you camped out? Like really? And, um, and all of the stories ended with, oh my gosh, what were we thinking? Now, um, JD and I were in Hawaii to shoot a wedding, but Ginger lives in Oahu, so we had some time just to kind of take some time and invest in ourselves as well as left invest in our business. Now, Ginger, my friend, my best friend from college, she has a really great and tactful way of talking about how awkward I am. Um, and if there's anybody who can attest to my awkwardness, it's the girl who lived next door to me for four long years. Now, I didn't go to campus parties. I just never understood the lore of the red solo cup. I just didn't get it. I didn't pledge the Greek system. When I was entered in my first year, I dedicated myself to graduating with a 4.0. So all of this really comes back down to is like, I'm like one pen shy of like rocking a pocket protector. So I was just like, this is who I am. And she knew that, she knew it in and out. Now, Ginger said the following, you've always been awkward, but don't you think that that's helped you as a wedding photographer? And then she went on to explain that the awkwardness that I possess helps me identify awkwardness in other people in uncomfortable situations. I sat there, and this, this conversation happened like two years ago, and I, we're now almost into our 10th year of business. So I got seven years of thinking that my awkwardness was an impediment. And for the first time I thought, oh my God, you're right. I'm like the awkward whisperer. I know when it's coming. And so because I can sense that stuff, I'm just like, what? And then I can kind of use myself. I can remove myself from a room. I can go in and I can kind of run a little uh, in, um, interference. Another sports reference that I almost messed up, but saved it at the end. <laughs> that in those uncomfortable situations, I am well suited to ease it. Now, on a wedding day, I will not be the first to admit that there are so many uncomfortable situations. We have shot weddings where divorced parents refuse to speak to each other. Uh, how are we supposed to deal with that in family pictures, right? We have to know these things, we have to prepare ourselves, we have to navigate these choppy waters. There have been bickering in-laws to where in-laws on both sides didn't want their kids getting married and so they're just darting each other dirty looks across the reception, that the moms couldn't be in the same room when the bride was getting ready and you're just kind of like, oh my gosh, how do I navigate this? But because I was aware, because I knew of the situation, because I know how to deal in those awkward situations, I kind of dealt with it with grace and with ease. And I've also shot weddings where bridesmaids and even sisters of the brides, they don't actually like the bride and they're all arguing, right? So the girls all start as friends 10, 12 months before the wedding planning process and all of a sudden be like, that girl didn't like that sweetheart neck and look at me in my asymmetrical dress. Look at how awful I look. And all of a sudden there's like this going on the other side of the room and I'm just like, the bride's getting her hair and makeup done. I'm like, oh, Okay, okay, I'm like, your hair looks great. You look awesome. So I'm trying to be like, your, the better the bride's experience is on her wedding day, the more she will like my photos. It's all about being, it's all about protection. It's all about using your awkwardness to protect what that experience uh, does for you. And I'm proud to say that I've done all of this without the help of a red solo cup. Amen, rock your pocket protectors. Um, in that moment, I realized that Ginger was right. And I'm okay saying that, I'm okay owning that entirely. Because your awkwardness can be a strength as a wedding photographer, because you are now well accustomed to dealing with uncomfortable situations. And the longer you do it, the better you become at it. So what I want you to do is embrace your awkwardness. I want you to embrace your sensitivity to mercurial wedding day dynamics. And I want you to embrace your pocket protector because it makes the biggest difference as a photographer. These are assets. These are definitely not liabilities.